just there, raise your hand if you want a question. David, you got mine first, go ahead. Giovanni, another fantastic European night tonight. The, the, op uh, the, the opposition players and manager had said they didn't think Ibrox would be a factor. And I, I think it was tonight. How good were the, both your players and the crowd? Well, we, need, we needed a big performance. And, uh, you know, the pressure was on us, of course, because of the defeat we had last week. Uh, we, we know we are capable in, 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 in delivering big nights for, for the club. But still, you have to do it over and over again. And um, that's why I'm so proud of my players, the way they played, with passion, with with desire, with fire to, to go to the next round. And that's the, the only way um, you have to be on the pitch to, to create the atmosphere we, we created today, you know, together with the fans. And um, yeah, again, it was an amazing night for all of us. Giovanni, on nights such as this, you need uh, big performances from your players, and you got that tonight, uh, particularly from the likes of Malik Tillman um, and Tom Lawrence. But I thought John Lundstrom absolutely ran midfield. Fantastic performance. What were your thoughts on John's performance tonight? Well, I mean, uh, we knew that the, the midfield part would be a very um, important part of the game today uh, with, with the players they had, with the captain always. You know, the, the play started always with him. Uh, Number eight, the runner, the 20 to six. So we wanted to have the midfield domination, and that's why uh, we played with Tom and Malik a little bit inside together with um, the Scott Arfield to create, you know, the numbers there and to, to make them run and try to create more uh, chances that we did last week. And you know, with players like uh, Malik and, and and Tom, you you can do that uh, on midfield. And and John was really important too kept the pressure on them, make sure that we uh, the balance was good in the team and uh, we know the fire he has in, in these moments and um, that's what he gave to the team as well. As you, congratulations. Um, it was a very attacking lineup tonight, I think obviously with, with the two goal deficit. We've seen Tom Lawrence play a little bit deeper at times than number eight. Is that somewhere you see him playing more regularly or will he join the attack or is that flexibility that he has to... Well, I mean, he's, 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 he's a player who can play on many, many positions. Uh, he can play left, uh, um, you know, wide and coming inside. But I think also today we knew that we had to create chances. And when you have, um, of course, uh, Ryan uh, on the wing and you have Tom and me inside of, together with Malik, you, you know you're going to create chances and um, in the second half we chase a little bit for more speed on the right with Robbie coming in and eventually uh, with Morales up front but this team can can play in so many ways and uh, we can always uh, change our tactics within the games uh, and we still have a lot of quality on the bench and um, so I'm really happy uh, for all of us that we uh, They'll be playing next week against PSV. Giovanni, how important was it given the momentum you had in that first half, the whole of the first half, to go in with a lead and did it change your thoughts, given it, funnily enough it was a handball and a penalty as well? Yeah, well, we, we, we knew that last week it wasn't a penalty, uh, so that made it harder for us. And today, uh, just happy with the decisions of the ref. Of course, it was in our favour, but I think it was one moment, second half with James Sands, I was like, <laughs> you know, this can be a very, a very important moment for the game. So, um, you know, it was good for us that, that, that he didn't give the yellow card and, and the ball to us. But, uh, yeah, it's very important to, uh, you know, to keep, keep pushing for these moments. We, we want to be in Champions League and, and, and the desire to be in the Champions League. I saw that today with my players. Uh, you and your staff will always respect the opponent, but with the benefit of hindsight, is uh, an element that you overthought last week's game? No, not at all. I think we, uh, I think last week we didn't, uh, we didn't uh, reach the levels we had. I think we played many times before uh, away from home in the first leg, and just make sure we we are keeping it compact wait for the right moments to 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 attack in transition moments i think last week we had a, a lot of moments in that but just make the wrong decision lost the ball bad decision making on the pitch uh, and today uh, i think we were much better much sharper and uh, that's why we could overturn uh, the 2 nil defeat last week Giovanni, what's your thoughts on psv well, I mean, it's familiar. It's a <laughs> familiar team for me. It's um, it's great to see uh, Ruth van Nistelrooy. Uh, again, we have so many uh, familiar faces on, on the bench. Uh, 
Fred Witten as well, who was I was the assistant of at Feyenoord a couple of years ago. Uh, all year I played in the national team. It's uh, it's a familiar place for me, so it's nice to be back in Holland for a couple of days after so many months in Glasgow. <laughs> but uh, you know we're gonna prepare well. It's a big chance for us to to take the last hurdle and to become um, a team who can play Champions League this season. Giovanni, congratulations on the result. Um, another epic night at Ibrox. A word for John McLaughlin, a big save one on one, yeah. around about 65 minutes or so. He had one moment with a, the short pass, but overall very commanding over the box. It's been a big decision for you to make him number one. How pleased were you with him tonight? Well, I'm pleased with his performance. Uh, you know, you know that goalkeepers always have moments. You know, it's it's part of the game, especially when you when you want to build up from the back and you want your goalkeeper involved in the build up. Um, but he had a he had a one great save, and that um, thing was two 0 at that time. Yeah. So very uh, important save, and then of course after that we scored the three 0 So uh, also happy with the performance of uh, of John tonight, and um, you know kept a clean sheet in Europe is always you know uh, what, what what you want. Congratulations tonight. Um, just a word about James Sabonier. Um, you know on the stroke at half time and. You know that penalty. The, the keeper was, you know, playing every trick in the book, I suppose, to put him off. You see it so often when they, they then go and miss a penalty. You know, what does that show about his character? Well, he's uh, he, he has a lot of character. He showed that, you know, last season, all the seasons before, uh, he's the captain. You know, in these moments, you want your captain to step up, and uh, <coughs> he did today again uh, after so many times before. So um, yeah, it was a, uh, I think a. Uh, Important moment because just before half time to go one nil up and then you know have the whole second half to, to score the second goal. Uh, I think psychologically it was you know for us a, a great moment to score. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.